Hello, hello dear friends, welcome back to the channel and very Merry Christmas to everyone. And exactly because it's Christmas, in this video I would like to show you how you can get a Christmas tree for your Guild Wars 2 home instance and also one very useful item called Star of Gratitude. The Christmas tree will grant you Winter's Day gift once per day when you interact with it, so once you get it, it will be Christmas every time when you play Guild Wars 2. <laughs> yeah, boy. The Star of Gratitude will convert your Imperial Fragments to containers with some random items inside. Hey, that's pretty good! So, before we start to work on the achievements to get those two cool items, I think you already know the drill. If you find the video useful, give it a like. And if you don't want to miss future Guild Wars 2 content or giveaway, and yes, I do giveaways, and the next one is coming in the beginning of January, Subscribe to the channel and press the notification button. With all that out of the way, let's begin. The first time when you logged in in Guild Wars 2 during the Winter's Day festival, you received an email with letter from Orphan's Lane, which basically says that Gronk stole the ornaments from the orphanage and they need your help to get them back and get rid of him. It will also point toward your character home instance. Go there, talk with Gronk, and he will tell you that you will never find those horrible toys and that uh, he hunger for something warm and rare like the food of Chef Seymour Oxbone. The next step is to purchase 3 meals from Chef Seymour and feed Gronk. But you can do that only once per day and each day Chef Seymour will be in different city. There will be a link in the description which will help you find him so be sure to check it. So, the first meal is Bowl of Bloodstone Broth. It costs one snowflake. Snowflakes you get by opening Winter's Day gifts. The next one is Cup of Bloodstone Soup. It costs one shiny frying pan. The shiny frying pan you can get from Harp Merchant next to Arcadian Waypoint in the Hierati Hinterland. You bring me something? The last meal is Chalice of Bloodstone Chili which costs one superior sigil of mischief. The sigil of mischief you can buy from the trading post or craft by yourself. Feeding Grinch, uh, I mean Ground 3 times, will complete Ground Munch achievement which will grant you holiday display case. Consuming it will unlock another achievement which you will have to complete for the children. Now you have to find the missing ornaments. All of them, except one, can be found in chests at the end of different jumping puzzles. They are pretty easy and I made a video for each jumping puzzle which I used to complete this achievement. Links to those videos you can find in the description below. You can see that now I'm missing only one ornament, the golden ball, and I will show you right away where you can find it. Ok, pour to out your sleep and head to the waterfalls. At the bottom of the waterfall there will be chest, when you open it you will receive the golden bow ornament. Something very important I forgot to mention is that uh, you can complete both achievements after the winter's day finish, because ground and uh, orphans will stay in your home instance. Completing for the children's achievement will grant you orphans generous gift, which contain two items, gift of magnanimity, that's the Christmas tree for your home instance, and the uh, Empyro Fragment Converter, Star of Gratitude. And that will wrap up this video. If you found it useful, consider liking and sharing, it helps immensely. And subscribe to the channel and press the notification button if you don't want to miss future Guild Wars 2 content. Thanks for watching, have a great day and see you in the next one.